A closet is simply any structure that is keeping you from clearing your throat and saying what you believe to be an outside, outre, unfavorable, unpopular opinion. And when you actually find one of those things that you have the courage to scream and you come out of the closet and there's no going back, right? There's no return ticket. It's a one way tr ticket. You will find out whether you are actually crazy and you should have stayed in the closet <laughs> or whether there's a world that says, thank God somebody finally said it. And what I would ad ad admonish you to do is to think about you. All of you can build a website, build a website and start to put cookie crumbs out towards that thing that you actually are. And if I can say it just in the most disturbing way possible, most people will die never having heard their own voice. And that is, a, a, I don't think people realize how profound a, a, a situation that is. And I, I would go a step further, reason with yourself. So not only the suppression of the thought, but whether it's hitting record on the podcast or putting it out on YouTube or writing the blog, that level of commitment entails reasoning and developing out that thought further. And yes, there may be a, a nugget of gold, but you gotta clear off all the dirt around it by actually vocalizing it, whether it's in audio form or written form or video form. I think the sad part is a lot of us have these thoughts bouncing around that we actually don't even try to reason with internally, let alone share with the world. And this is getting comfortable and finding your voice, getting comfortable with that voice and then being able to express it to other people. This is hoisting your flag so that others are able to see it and able to salute it if they, if they wish. Okay, but this is super dangerous advice we're talking about here. And I, I wanna highlight, you can use reason you can try to figure out the packaging. But if I look at somebody like James Damore and his memo at Google, mm -hmm. I mean, that guy killed his life as a caterpillar working for Google. That stage of his life was over. Now, I don't think he necessarily maximized his butterfly potential on the other side of it, but the world was watching this thing. It certainly was. And many people, um, myself included, said, that's a very weird thing to get fired for. You asked, you Google asked for feedback. Uh, you had a seminar that was intended to help people develop as managers. Somebody gave you feedback coming from a big five psychological inventory mm -hmm. um, perspective, uh, quoting a professor from the University of uh, Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> and you got fired and you got humiliated, but you also got celebrated. And so this is one of these very weird things about what holds us back is you are going to be offensive to large right. numbers yes. of people. Somebody. That's the market of it's ideas, a, right? So you, if you don't say, have any ideas. Maybe you can get by without it. But what, where I learned about this, and I didn't mean to cut you off, come yeah. back to it. Um, I did this podcast uh, with, from a live event with Ben Shapiro and Sam Harris at the Masonic mm -hmm in San Francisco. And it was the perfect Rorschach test. I needed <laughs> to have done this, to have learned this stupid fact. For everything we were praised for, we were vilified as well <laughs> in the comments. And that was the thing, it was like, oh, Ben is a joy to listen to. Finally, somebody arguing for the religious perspective in a rational way. Mm -hmm. What is Ben Shapiro doing on this stage? This guy is a complete <laughs> hack trying to argue from the religious perspective from a rational perspective. Okay, because of that, I learned a very stupid truth, which is some people love you for the exact thing that other people will hate you for. As a result, mm -hmm. you have to make a decision. Are you not willing to be hated for anything from a reasonable perspective, right? Because if you say anything, there is a reason to hate whatever it is that you that you said. Maybe, maybe you've made some comment about uh, Taco Bell and somebody's uh, you know aunt was killed in a Taco Bell and they <laughs> think that you're being insensitive. We don't need any Taco Bell emails, please, audience. <laughs> We've had enough. That's Taco Bell. <laughs> um, so in that, in that setting, what I came to understand is, oh, there's no way of keeping these people happy. There's just, it's, no, it is there's literally right. provably impossible. Ergo, um, you have to decide what your butterfly stage is meant to be after you kill your caterpillar. 
to your caterpillar stage is usually trying to get along with the world, mm-hmm. trying to get along with yes. your employer. If you get fired, try to get fired for the right thing. Try to get fired for saying something brave or noble because closets are small and they're uncomfortable and you can't actually live in them. So find your closet and break out of it. Skip the networking events, build a website, say something of interest, watch the world beat a path to your door. Be prepared that you're going to have to go without income for a few months because you're going to piss somebody off and it might be your employer. So make sure that you've got, you know, a certain amount of supplies. And when you clear your throat, don't put too many wiggle words in it because quite honestly, courage and bravery in the service of something noble are attractive. And it is a wide open opportunity set out there because everybody is scared to talk. 